start a new series called In the Kitchen where I will take you along with me as I prepare whatever meal I am preparing for the day. I will make it some ackee and sawfish with some coconut rice. And just a few things about the ackee. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please do not force the pot to open. Do not. If the ackee falls off the tree when it's closed, you can leave it at the root of the tree until it opens and then you take it up and you take the stuff out of it and you clean it. Now, in this video, I will be using some ackee that I got from my parents that was already cleaned and boiled. So there will be another video showing you how to do the ackee from pod stage, but that is for another time. So. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So this was the sawfish that I bought. As you can see, it had some heavy salt on it. So we're gonna rinse that off first. And then here we are pouring some hot water onto the sawfish and it is going to sit in that hot water for some time. This helps to cut the amount of salt in the taste of it and also helps to make it easier to peel off the skin so we're gonna just fill this up and put that aside and go on with the rest of the meal now we're going to pick the rice which is just making sure that you get out any sort of impurities that you don't want and then give it a quick little rinse and then you season your pot to taste so i'm adding in some salt some onion powder and some roasted garlic then about two tablespoons of butter just to give it that creamy texture afterwards we're going to use one packet of coconut milk to a small amount of water make sure you mix it properly so that there are no lumps whatsoever if you don't have a whisk you use a fork and you pour that into your rice on low heat for our veggies we have tomato onion and sweet pepper and you're just gonna chop these up whatever size you would like these are gonna go into our aki now don't forget to check on your rice so right now we can see that it has a nice little bubble i'm going to give it a stir so that the butter and the coconut flavor can be evenly distributed you now when you're cooking your rice you don't want to stir it too much because it will become like a porridge consistency and also do not knock your utensil on the side of the pot because that encourages your rice to stick to the base of your pot and that is what makes it easier to burn chop up the onion back to check the rice again so now we see that some of the liquid has dissolved but we have all of this settling on top so you just want to give it a light little fluff now remember be gentle don't store it up like you're mixing juice just want to incorporate what is on top underneath chop the tomatoes and back to the rice now I keep going back and forth because rice takes some time to cook but you still have to pay attention to it every step of the way all right so here there is still a little bit of moisture down in the bottom of the pot so we're just doing a little fluff i don't know if that's the actual term but we call it that say fluff the rice to get the soft ones from underneath up to the top and then also you have to check to see if it's at the, the texture that you would want it now i'm adding in some thyme just to add to the flavor of it so just sprinkling some leaves on top of it giving it a nice good mix to ensure that it is evenly incorporated and then we're going to just cover this and let it sit this is the last time that we're going to stir the rice until it is done so after you do that then you just leave it to finish cooking sawfish time all right so you're going to drain off the water by this time the water should be about room temperature because it would have been soaking for about an hour or so now you're going to take the skin off 
for some pieces it might be more difficult than others but you want to be careful not to let any scales end up in your fish so as you can see i'm folding the skin over while i am peeling it off just to ensure that no scales fall into the bowl now sometimes it may be difficult to get the skin off when you find that you're having difficulty you can just use your knife to help to cut that piece off and then you continue no because the saltfish was not boiled it is going to have a bit of a resistance when you're peeling the skin but just find a little elbow grease and continue doing it i choose to not boil the saltfish before cooking because one it makes it a lot softer than i like and two it sort of reduces the flavor that it has and I think soaking it in the salt water is just enough for it but if you wish to boil it you can do so for about three minutes it doesn't need to be completely boiled because it is going to be cooked with the ackee as well please keep an eye out for bones we do not want any bones in this dish you can either use a fork or do it by hand and we now go ahead and flake the saltfish into bite-sized pieces if you have a center bone like in this part of the video here you can use your knife and just gently peel the fish away from the bone add some oil to a pan on about medium heat and we're going to go ahead with our onions and the sweet pepper and you just want to give them a good stir please do not add any salt the surface is sufficient you can add your favorite powdered seasonings to taste when the onion gets to a golden color you now incorporate your sawfish into the pan and give it a nice good mixture you cook it for about three to five minutes until the water starts coming out of the fish so if you don't see any liquid in your pot yet, it's not time to put the ackee. Now I'm sprinkling some thyme again. Yeah, I like to add thyme to my dishes because it just helps to enhance the flavor. So if you look closely, you would see that the bubbles have started. Now just before I add the tomatoes and the ackee, I'm just doing a little taste test to see if the texture is where I want it to be. Now we put in our tomatoes, give those a little mix around. Once again, we wait until we see the little bubbles. See there, nice, good. Now we're just going to give it one final mix and then we come in with our aki. Now with the aki, you have to be extremely careful when mixing it in. No, I had these in a colander draining because they were frozen before and you don't want too much liquid in it. And ideally, you would not want to put so much into this size pot, but I did not realize how much ackee I had in those parcels. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. But when you're stirring, you want to go from below and just gently fold it over because the slightest movement will cause the ackee to squish so you have to be very gentle very delicate when turning it and don't fill up the pot like this <laughs> this is too much for this size pan but anyway so we have done one stir so far and left it for about three minutes we're back again same procedure just a little flip and we go right around there's no need to mix it more than that and you just allow the heat to get through to everybody so that it can be evenly cooked and just before you serve your rice you want to give it one last fluff just to ensure that it is cooked to your liking 
after a small time, just a little sample of what was prepared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So thank you for joining me in the kitchen. See you next time.